ready to go at 101 pounds for the women. And in the red will be Trisha Saunders from Phoenix, Arizona, wrestling for the Sunkiss Kids, a two-time world champion. She's taken a year off unranked because of that year off. She is wrestling in the blue. Julie Gonzalez from Vallejo, wrestling out of the Peninsula Grapplers Club, ranked number four in the USA. And Trisha Saunders has been quite a key in the development of women's wrestling for many years. I know both of you are very aware of that. Yeah, Trisha is a 1998 Woman of the Year for USA Wrestling to recognize her contributions to the sport, but she's been the pioneer. And a three-point takedown for Trisha Saunders right off the bat at the beginning of this five-minute period. Takedowns are worth a point. Reversals are worth a point. Escapes are worth a point. And if you can take your opponent from their feet directly to their back, it's worth three. And here she now has two for back exposure. If she can hold her opponent in this predicament, in this danger area, for five seconds, she'll earn an additional point. It is five to nothing now, seven, eight nothing right now for Trisha Saunders over Julie Gonzalez. Saunders came in with a pin and a technical fall to earn her way to these finals, and she's working on a pin right now, Jeff. Saunders has tremendous experience. She is probably the most experienced woman wrestler here in the United States. As Jim said, the pioneer for the women in this sport. And certainly that kind of experience is going to help her here in terms of nerves and, and staying focused at the national finals. She's showing, showing no ill signs of her, her layoff from the sport, that's for sure. She took a year off to have her second child. She also had an injured knee, maybe have played a part in that decision. She was just named the USA Wrestling Woman of the Year. Well, one thing that might help Trisha in her layoff is the fact she's married to Townsend Saunders, Olympic silver medalist in Atlanta, and I'm sure if she ever needed to train, her husband is right there to help her with that. I think I'd buy a ticket to that one. Absolutely. Now, these two, it's reported, met in the 1994 National Finals. Gonzalez was just about 13 years old. That is correct, and that was out. You know, Trisha really, you know, dominated that match, and... She's tried to get better here, but, you know, Trisha's experience and her overwhelming uh, technical ability has just run up the score. She now wins by technical fall. Technical fall is at a 10-point differential. Anytime that happens in a match, they do call it. And it is Trisha Saunders, the national champion for the women, at 101 pounds with a technical fall, 10 straight points very quickly in under three minutes over Julie Gonzalez. And Jim Shear is with our our newest national champion, Trisha Saunders. Trish, great match. Uh, you didn't uh, seem like you had much rust on you from your layoff. Um, well, I had a little bit of time off. It's been about, I, I competed in December. It's the last time I competed, but after having my, my knee redone and having a baby, it was a little, a little time. It took me to get back to where I am now, but I feel like I wrestled pretty well this tournament.